Friends, today I am making kofta or meatballs. We have two pound ground beef. I have two teaspoon of garam masala, two tablespoon of coriander powder, half teaspoon of zira powder, two teaspoon of red chili, one teaspoon of salt, four tablespoon of roasted basin. So how are you gonna roast the basin? Just take four tablespoon and put it in a fry pan and roast it on medium heat. That's all you need to do to get a roasted basin. Or if you have roasted chanas, you can use that. We will need some cilantro. I have a medium sized onion. I have a half a jalapeno because this was really big jalapeno, so I cut it in half. And one green chili plus one egg. I added cilantro, green chilies, and onion. I am chopping green chilies, onion, and cilantro. Now we are going to add our ground beef to this. Our ground beef is done. We are going to add garam masala, cumin powder, and coriander powder. Also chilies and salt. After adding everything in ground beef, we are just going to mix it well. So it gets evenly distributed into the ground beef. Size of the kofta or meatball depends on you. So I'm making this size. It's like a medium size ball. So you can make any size that you prefer. So all you take is a little bit of ground beef like this and uh, I dip my hand in the water and just put some water on your hand and just keep on going like that until it becomes really round just like that and we will just keep making this with all our keema or the ground beef Fourteen koftas. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. I have a four tablespoon of oil in here, and I'll be I'm frying my garlic. And as soon as the garlic is fried, garlic is already brown. Now I'm going to add turmeric in here. I'm just going to brown it a little bit. I'm using dry fried onions. If you don't have that, you can use, you can fry medium sized onion and add that to this mixture. And we'll just brown it for a little bit. Our Kashmiri chilies, one tablespoon, salt, one tablespoon, and red chilies, one tablespoon. So we're going to add this. I have coriander powder, two teaspoon and one teaspoon zira or cumin. We'll add this and we'll just let it brown a little bit. I'm using dry fried onions. If you don't have that, you can use, you can fry medium sized onion and add that to this mixture and we will just brown it for a little bit so I added half cup of water and I'm going to cook this 
until the onions are blended with masala and we don't see any onions in here. As you can see there is no brown onion that are visible. I just added half a can of tomato sauce, not tomato paste. Option of using fresh tomatoes, but make sure that you puree them. I don't mind using tomato sauce. It's just a quicker version of cooking. So as soon as this is brown, little bit, we're going to add yogurt to this. I'll be adding half cup of whipped yogurt. So make sure you do this so there's no lumps in here. So we'll just add this to our masala. This with yogurt on high flame for one minute until it's completely cooked at this point at this point you can taste your curry and see if you need any more salt or any peppers you want to add so this will be the time you can add things to it so this is all done and I'm going to add quarter cup of water in here and we'll put the flame on low heat We'll add our kofta or meatball to this mixture. And make sure your heat is on low. Make sure your heat is on low. And try to use an open pan like this so you don't top the kofta on top of each other. And we're not going to touch this at all. All we're going to do is cover it for 15 minutes on low heat and let it steam. My, the koftas are already in here and they're covered. And we're going to keep this way for 10 minutes on low heat. I have my kofta covered on low heat and I'm going to let it steam for 15 minutes. Now I'm cooking it on medium high. So what you do is you just mix it like this. You don't need to use your spoon. Look at these koftas, they did not break at all. So all you have to do is just go like that and they will mix very nicely. I'm adding green chilies. And some fresh ginger. And we'll cover it for another five minutes and let it cook on medium low thumbs up if you like the recipe and please do subscribe to my channel thank you very much and enjoy chatpat koftas here's our kofta All I added was four tablespoons of oil, but sometimes what happens is your meat itself, the meatballs or the keema itself has so much uh, fat in it, even though I had a lean ground beef. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. What you can do is like what I did, look how much fat I took it out from the top. So you can just take the fat out at the end. So our kofta is already dished out. Now I'm just going to put some cilantro on top, just for presentation. 
and we'll just add some green chilies on top enjoy please subscribe to my channel thank you